For those who are looking for a high-quality robotic lawnmower without a boundary wire but can't make a decision, I have just the right thing. In today's video, we're going to talk about the ultimate comparison of, in my opinion, the top three robotic lawnmowers without a boundary wire on the market. We'll take a detailed look at how these devices differ, the advantages and disadvantages they offer, and ultimately, which robotic lawnmower you should choose. So, let's not waste any time and dive right in after the intro. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel for free and activate the notification bell to never miss a test video in the future. The latest prices to support this channel can be found in the video description. Thank you very much for your support, and now let's get started after the intro. Each robotic lawnmower has its pros and cons in certain areas, making the comparison and decision extremely difficult. In today's video, we'll compare the three currently most popular wireless robotic lawnmowers on the market, Mamotion Luba AWD5000 versus Ecovacs Goat G1 versus Works Landroid Vision. We'll explore the differences between these three robotic lawnmowers, their advantages and disadvantages, and determine which one you should choose. Before we begin, I want to mention that I've already introduced and tested each of these three devices separately. If you haven't watched the videos yet, I highly recommend checking them out. I'll provide links to them up here on the info card because today's focus is solely on comparing the three robotic lawnmowers. Alright, with that said, let's now dive straight into the detailed comparison. Let's start with the appearance because the robot's design is the first thing that catches your eye. The devices from Mamotion and Ecovax come in a striking white, giving them a very modern look, while the works maintains its familiar orange and black look. From my experience, I can say that the white casings are visually appealing but also very prone to dirt. The positive aspect is that all three devices are IPX5 or higher certified, allowing them to be easily cleaned from underneath with a hose, which saves a lot of time. In terms of build quality, all three robotic lawnmowers are, as expected, very well made. The Mamotion Luba is the heaviest of the three devices, weighing a whopping 23 kilograms. The other two devices have an average weight of around 14 kilograms, so if you often need to transport the robotic lawnmower from one place to another, keep this in mind. In relation to the drive wheels, the robotic lawnmowers also have varying levels of traction. Both the Landroid and the Goat are driven by two large wheels with good traction and have no difficulties on typical terrain with light to moderate slopes. Due to the Landroid Vision having the drive wheels at the rear, it's designed for a maximum slope of up to 30% while the Goat is said to handle 45% slopes. In first place is the Luba, which, thanks to its all-wheel drive, surpasses the other two robotic lawnmowers and is claimed to handle incredible slopes of up to 75%. I've also tested this in an extreme test. You can find the video up here in the info card. In connection with that, we should also take a look at the maneuverability of each robotic lawnmower, where, in my opinion, the works has the advantage. This is because it has two drive wheels at the front and the two caster wheels at the rear. This allows the Landroid to move extremely precisely without putting much stress on the ground. The Goat also has good maneuverability but does not match the Landroid vision in this aspect. In last place in this category is undoubtedly the Mamotion Luba. While it offers significant advantages, it also has a few disadvantages. The Luba is relatively heavy compared to the other two robotic lawnmowers and puts more stress on the ground when turning or maneuvering around obstacles, but it rarely gets stuck. Speaking of the ground, let's take a look at the area coverage of the devices. In first place is undoubtedly the Luba. 
Memotion offers three models for 1,000, 3,000, and 5,000 square meters, suitable for medium to very large gardens. The Landroid is also available in several variants from 600 to 1,600 square meters, and last but not least, the GOAT G1 designed for 1,600 square meters at its peak. That's at least in theory. In practice, I would assume an average of 25% less, as that is realistic and of course dependent on the battery capacity and cutting width. What I find quite practical is that Works, as with the previously tested models, uses its own power share system, allowing for easy battery replacement. I would recommend this to everyone and to use the largest possible 18 volt battery with either 5 or even 6 ampere hours. With that, the robotic lawnmower can operate for an average of 2 to 3 hours before running out of power. The GOAT G1 has a 5.2 ampere hour battery and the Luba boasts an impressive 10 ampere hour battery, both built into the device. Therefore, with a single battery charge, you can cover several square meters, ranging from approximately 110 square meters for the GOAT to around 280 square meters for the Luba. Personally, I'd have preferred a slightly larger battery for the GOAT G1. Regarding the cutting width, all devices are designed for medium to large areas. The Landroid has a standard cutting width of 180 millimeters, the Goat has 220 millimeters, and the Luba has 2 by 220 millimeters, totaling 440 millimeters. This means that the latter two undoubtedly complete their job faster than the Landroid. However, this is also due to the mowing principle, as the Landroid continues to operate randomly while the other two mow in parallel paths. Just like the cutting width, the cutting depth of the robotic mowers also varies. The cutting depth can be manually adjusted from the usual 30 to 60 millimeters on the GOAT and Landroid using a large adjustment wheel. The larger L models from Works as well as the Luba have an electric adjustment for the cutting depth. The Luba allows for a slightly larger range up to a maximum of 70 millimeters. This means that even on hot days, there is a bit more buffer to protect the ground from drying out. By the way, the cutting depth is adjusted through the app. Before the robotic lawn mowers can even start operating on the lawn area, they need to be installed, and here there are again significant differences. In my opinion, the installation process is easiest with the Luba, although the effort strongly depends on the specific area. The Luba has an RTK base station, which is mounted in a free area or on the building to provide better coverage of the lawn area, and that's it. It's worth mentioning that if you decide on wall mounting for better reception, the wall mount needs to be purchased separately. The maximum coverage radius around the station is a solid 120 meters, allowing the device to cover very large areas. On the other hand, the GOAT does not have a central RTK base station. Instead, multiple beacons are required to navigate the robotic lawnmower using UWB or ultra wideband technology. Each beacon has a radius of up to 45 meters and it is important to ensure that the entire area is well covered by the masts. I must say that the two beacons that are included as standard in the package are not sufficient for demanding gardens, so it is advisable to consider additional masts for better reception from the beginning. The aesthetics also come into play as everyone needs to decide for themselves whether they find the white, conspicuous navigation masts bothersome or not. Both robotic lawnmowers always require a good signal to the station or masts, which should not be obstructed by large trees, bushes, or the like. After that, the rest is super simple. Just navigate the robotic lawnmowers along the boundaries using the app so that the mapping can be performed, and the devices know where the boundaries are. No-go zones and other areas that should not be traversed are also added to the map using the same principle. In the case of the Works Vision, however, the process is slightly different due to its functional principle. The robotic lawnmower does not have GPS or anything similar, but relies solely on a built-in camera with artificial intelligence and magnetic strips for orientation. 
This means that driving along the boundaries like in the other models is not necessary, but all areas where clear visual boundaries are not visible, as well as no-go zones, need to be delineated with a magnetic strip. Depending on the garden, this can be done within a minute, or in my case, it can take quite a long time as the magnetic strip included with the package is not even sufficient. For those who do not have clear boundaries but still want to choose a works robotic lawnmower, I would undoubtedly recommend the previous version, the Landroid 2.0, as shown in the video above on the top right of the info card. Regarding the results from practice, I can say that all three devices performed quite well overall. The technology in the Mammotion and the GOAT is very reliable, allowing both devices to draw highly precise and parallel paths on the lawn with an accuracy of a few centimeters. Not only does this look very good, but it also has the enormous advantage that no areas are overlooked, and the robotic lawnmower completes the task much faster than the device operating randomly. Of course, this requires good coverage as otherwise the robotic lawnmower may leave the area and stop. I observed this occasionally with the goat, so if you want to have that beautiful finish on the lawn surface like you see on a football field, you should opt for one of the two. On the other hand, as mentioned earlier, the works operates randomly, which is nothing new. What's more interesting is that the robotic lawnmower, through its camera and artificial intelligence, autonomously detects where the lawn area ends. From my experience, I can say that this works quite well in daylight and the robotic lawnmower recognizes the boundaries accurately. With the built-in AI and regular software updates, the robotic lawnmower becomes smarter and more precise in detecting edges and obstacles. However, when it gets dark, the works vision, just like the goat, can no longer detect anything and stops the job or remains stationary for safety reasons. Overall, the results of the robots are definitely impressive. In addition to achieving a good mowing result, obstacle detection is equally important for the robots. Fortunately, all three devices come equipped with obstacle detection, and they're quite well equipped in this regard. The Mamotion Luba has multiple ultrasonic sensors and a bumper at the front, which detect obstacles both in daylight and at night. During the practical test, I did not encounter any issues with this device. However, it's worth mentioning that due to its coarse maneuverability, the robotic lawnmower tends to take a relatively wide arc around detected obstacles. Therefore, I would personally recommend minimizing obstacles in the path of the Luba. The other two robotic lawnmowers do not have ultrasonic sensors. Instead, obstacle detection is carried out through the built-in camera system. I must admit that this also worked extremely well, as both robotic lawnmowers accurately recognize and navigate around objects with the integrated artificial intelligence. In comparison to the GOAT, the works vision is even more precise because of its extremely good maneuverability, allowing it to navigate very close to objects. However, as mentioned before, both robotic lawnmowers can also detect very delicate objects such as a garden hose lying on the ground. Edge cutting is also a crucial point for many people when it comes to a robotic lawnmower. It should be noted that the blade disc of all three robotic lawnmowers is centrally positioned on the underside, so achieving a 100% edge is not possible. Instead, we're talking about a cut that's close to the edge, which measures approximately 10 to 20 centimeters from a fixed boundary for all devices. In the case of a smooth transition, such as to a walkway, it can be easily traversed during mapping, ensuring that no edge is left untrimmed. Ultimately, with all three robotic lawnmowers, you will still need to manually mow around the edges from time to time. Lastly, let's talk about the app, as it is also extremely important for all three robotic lawnmowers. The Works Vision and the GOAT G1 have a built-in display on top, allowing for direct adjustments and settings from the device itself. On the other hand, the Mamotion Luba does not have a display, so all important settings must be made directly through the app. 
I find the app to be quite well designed for both the GOAT and the LUBA. As mentioned in the individual videos, Ecovacs has extensive experience with vacuum and mopping robots, which has been incorporated directly into the robotic lawnmower. This means that the app is very user-friendly, easy to understand, and straightforward to operate. Additionally, it's possible to access the built-in camera on the robotic lawnmower through the app, allowing the device to be used as a surveillance camera. In my opinion, there's nothing to complain about in this regard. The same goes for the Luba, although I believe that even more in-depth and complex settings can be made here. It's also a well-structured app that continues to evolve. Not to forget the software for the Works Vision, namely the Landroid app. The positive aspect is that we do not need a new app for the Vision robotic lawnmower. Instead, we can integrate this robotic lawnmower into the familiar Landroid app. The app is extremely user-friendly as we've come to expect from the previous models and it's easy to operate. However, based on my experience and all the feedback under the individual video, I can say that as of the current state of the video, the software is not yet perfect or fully developed in all aspects. Of course, these are teething problems that will undoubtedly be resolved in the near future. By then, the app should also function flawlessly, as we've seen with the previously tested Works Robotic Lawnmowers. And now we've reached the final conclusion. All in all, it can definitely be said that all three devices are reliable high-end robotic lawnmowers that do not require a bothersome boundary wire. The choice ultimately depends on various factors such as local conditions and personal expectations. So, here's a summary of the decisive criteria for the three robotic lawnmowers which can help you make your decision. The more criteria can be confirmed, the better the robotic lawnmower is suited for your use. Works Landroid Vision a well-defined garden with lawn edges is present. There are no steep inclines greater than 30%. There are not too many freestanding small plants in the lawn area. Mowing randomly is not a problem for me. I don't plan on creating more than three zones. Highly precise obstacle detection is extremely important to me. Ecovax Goat G1. The lawn area is at most medium sized. There are no inclines greater than 45%. The lawn area is not heavily shielded by large trees, buildings, or the like. The appearance of the white beacons that border the lawn area doesn't bother me. Mowing in parallel paths is particularly important to me. Highly precise obstacle detection is also important. It's not a problem for the robotic lawnmower to not mow at night. Mamotion Luba. The lawn area is small to large, not exceeding 5,000 square meters. I have a building where the RTK base station could be mounted for better reception in case of shielding by trees, etc. I don't have typical golf course turf, but rather uneven terrain or steep slopes in the garden. There are not too many small obstacles on the lawn area. Efficient mowing in parallel paths is particularly important to me. I want to use multi-zone management but not create more than a maximum of 10 zones. A slightly larger distance to the edge is not a problem for me. Okay, and those are the most important decision criteria. Now, I would be very interested to hear your opinion on which one you would choose and why. Please write it down in the comments below. I'm very excited to hear your feedback. If you like the video and would like to support this channel at no additional cost, you can find the current prices of the devices in the video description below. Thank you very much for your support. And with that, I would say take care and see you next time. Goodbye.